What struck me in your class today was, so you're doing, you know, kids are so used to the teacher presenting mm -hmm. the notes, yes. you know, the information and them taking notes, and you, you flip that around, and you, you did give the kids a tool, like a, um, a guided sort of note yeah. sheet. They had a graphic organizer. A graphic organizer. Mm -hmm. With the words they needed to, uh, the terms that they needed to look up, with the page numbers indicated. I don't right. know if maybe that was too helpful. Um, a column for them to draw a picture. They could have copied it from right. the uh, textbook, and a space where they had to write the definition or explanation of that term, and they were instructed not to copy word for word. Um, and I heard you... Um, remind several kids in your own words, in mm -hmm. your own words, and close the book mm -hmm. when you ask them to tell you. Mm -hmm. So so talk about like your rationale for doing it this way. Okay, so I actually have only, this, have only had these kids for, this is the fifth week, um, and we haven't really done very much non-fictional text reading, um, so I wanted to get some of that in and, and have them be able to look at non-fictional science text and kind of to create their own meaning from that. So it was the first time we were doing that. Um, and I think that they, I've noticed if I'm copying things down, like if I have things on the board, they're copying them down, but I'm not quite sure if they're processing it with me. And I recognize that when I ask them about stuff later or when we're doing a lab later, I'm like, oh, remember the notes? They go back to their notes, but they don't seem to have a connection with the notes. Right. So I, I was kind of thinking maybe this would be something to try. Um, and the rationale would be that they have to, in order to make the notes, they have to process the notes. They have to read it. They have to comprehend what they were reading, and then they have to regurgitate it onto the uh, graphic organizer in their own words in a way that they can use it. That was the rationale. Right. <laughs> and so we heard some kids. I don't know the one boy's name, but push back. Um, he wanted me to just write it down. And you said to him, I don't think I caught it on the video, but you said um, because it's. Yeah, it's easier. The, it's easier. Yeah, 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 of course, it's easier. Yeah. I think they recognize that too. They they understand that copying down takes less brain power, and that's why they want to do it. It's easier logically, but you I don't think they're learning as much. Right. So it takes more effort and more energy to have to do it in that manner. Right. Which is why he was very like, oh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> right.